Hello YouTube family. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing good. Hope you're having a good New Year's. One to read to you from my Bible. Just gonna just gonna randomly randomly read read from my Bible. When Jesus says, come to me, he doesn't say, come to religion, come to a system, or come to a certain doctrine. This is a very personal invitation to a God, an invitation to a Savior. In essence, Christianity is nothing more, nothing less than a desire and an effort to see Jesus. That's all it is. We're trying to catch a glimpse of a man, not a program, not a plan, not a system, not a doctrine. We're trying to see a man who called himself the Son of God. Our God is not aloof. He's not so far above us that he can't see and understand our problems. Jesus isn't a God who stayed on the mountaintop. He's a Savior who came down and lived and worked with, a, with the people. Everywhere he went, the crowds followed, drawn together by the magnet that was and is the Savior. The life of Jesus Christ is a message of hope, a message of mercy, a message of life in a dark world. Here is a prayer. Blessed Lord and God, we come to you aware that you have pierced our world. You become, you became flesh, you dwelled among us, you saw us in our fallen state. You reached in and pulled us out. You offered us salvation. You offered us mercy. And we are ever thankful. In Jesus' name, Amen. Here's another reading on suffering. Folks, if you're expecting to be given a fair shake in your life, forget it. You won't be. You're going to face illness and your body is going to wear out. You may be the victim of someone else's mistake, but you can get through those tough times if you prepare your heart now. Living to know and serve the Savior who loves you and died so that you might have an eternal home free of pain and sorrow. The struggles that you're going through now, don't discard them. Listen to God as he teaches you so that you can teach others. You see, a time of suffering teaches us something we never knew before and may prepare us for a time of counsel that we will give someone years from now. God is with you. God is with you. The same God that guided his son through death and back to life said he will never leave us or forsake us. He is right there with you, perhaps even more in times of crisis than any other time. Here's another prayer. Father, we believe that when we see you, any suffering that we endured on the face of this earth will be worth it. We believe that the first 
five minutes we stand in heaven, we will know that anything we endured on this globe will be forgotten. Father, help us to understand, and when we cannot understand, help us to trust. In Jesus' name, Amen. Another reading on hospitality. Here's a suggestion. We should all wear antennas to work, to church, to school. Antennas that pick up on people who seem out of place, whose loneliness shows. Why not be the one to approach these folks and extend friendship to them? Maybe you think the last thing you need is another friend, but friendless hospitality is a virtue that brings as much joy to the giver as to the receiver. When you extend hospitality to others, you're not trying to oppress people. You're trying to reflect God to them. You don't have to be rich to be be hospitable. A wise friend once told me, if you won't give people hot dogs when you're poor, you won't give them steaks when you're rich. We should let our pride get in we shouldn't let our pride get in the way of being hospitable. We are here on earth to be God's people. We are here to show others the same God who came to be a friend to the earth. That's our task. Maybe today you will meet someone who really needs a friend and you can fill that need. Maybe you can make an eternal difference in that person's life just because you chose to be friendly today. The prayer, Father, as we set about the task of trying to be your people. We pray that you will help us. May we glorify your name. May we be open-minded. May we be sincere. May we be willing to change and grow. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, I hope you liked the reading. I hope you'll be having a a good new year. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until I meet you again, God bless you all, and goodbye.